welcome back to the Calder Music Workshop, everybody. I am Carl, a semi-competent woodturner, and today we're going to make some headstocks. And uh, first, though, my shop is a filthy, disgusting pigsty, so give me a minute to do something about that. So now that we got that out of the way, we're ready to have some fun and make a few headstocks for these three black walnut boom sticks that I've been working on for the last few weeks here in the Calder Music Workshop. Here we have the original boom stick. This is maple. As you can see, the tuning machines are at the bottom, uh, just below the bridge. Uh, and then the top becomes a nice extension of the gun barrel itself. You can see that the strings lock in there on the bottom. They come up around through the middle, uh, through the inside cavity here, up and over the nut. This headstock is not a solid piece of wood. It's made out of several two inch rings that I cut out with my hole saw. Um, number uh, two boomstick is the same way. It's because I didn't have a lathe at the time. And it works, looks good, um, but I'd much rather have it be one solid piece of wood. Um, so that's what we're doing today. Um, I have this lathe now. This is uh, extended loan from my good buddy, Big Red Nick. I appreciate that, man. Um, and uh, I've never actually used a lathe before but I did read the instruction manual and I watched a couple of YouTube videos. So at this point, I'm basically an expert. So despite my consummate knowledge of this machine, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this test piece a little bit just to get the hang of it, get the feel for it. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go ahead and make a two inch uh, rounded shaft of this black walnut from Big Brother D's uh, Kalamazoo property. All right, let's get to it. So those turned out really nice. Uh, left them a little bit big, so they can tolerate some sanding. And uh, so uh, next stage is to carve them out, so uh, we can get the strings on. Yay! So yeah, that was supposed to cut to me doing a tastefully positioned overhead uh, time lapse shot of me carving out that stuff. But I guess I forgot to hit record or something. But anyway, here's what I got done. Uh, last 45 minutes or so made a mess and managed to get those three headstocks and my uh, tuning machine uh, hollow out finished up um, so uh, next order of business is to uh, start carving out this area where the, uh, the strings will pass over the nut down through the body of the headstock
All right, and that turned out really good. Uh, there's two more to go, and hopefully I'll have time to get a cut of teak oil on all three of them. Okay, so so I got uh, that one guy Pandora going right, and uh, I just have to say uh, what's up to Mike Silverman, aka that one guy. Uh, uh, he's hugely inspirational to what I do. Uh, it's a long story, but way back in uh, what 90, 98, 98. No, I'm sorry, 2008. <laughs> Not that far back. I was already in the early stages of of trying to basically make a a, a uh, oil drum upright bass that I could drag around in the woods um, at festivals and stuff. And I was already looking at at uh, some galvanized pipe and some kind of weird shit like that. In 2008, uh, that one guy, Mike Silverman, was supposed to perform at Bliss Fest, and uh, and some some shit went down. Actually, his his rig got stolen, uh, and he couldn't. Uh, the, the the previous weekend, his rig got stolen, and uh, he uh, rescheduled for next year. But anyway, like I said, long story. Uh, Yeah, so I was talking about uh, that one guy earlier, and uh, so like anyway, in 2009, uh, I finally met him at Bliss Fest. He rescheduled, and uh, by then I had made my first uh, upright pipe fingerboard bass. It was this clunky little thing that I would just drag around in the woods. He's absolutely the the nicest guy you'll ever meet, and. Uh, he gave me a bunch of advice on how to dial in the nut and use the pipe and and uh, uh, and all that stuff and and uh, anyway he's so good uh, you should definitely check out that one guy uh, he's all over the place online yeah. yeah. Bedtime, so while that stuff's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and carve on uh, some of the finer details into the boomstick here. 